We begin with football's united front against the Russian invasion of Ukraine. We've seen gestures of opposition and even defiance around Europe in the last few days. And today, clubs here in the UK had their chance to make their feelings known. There were emotional and touching scenes ahead of Everton's game with Manchester City, where players and fans threw their support behind the two Ukrainians, Alexander Zinchenko and Vitaly Mikolenko. Zinchenko we saw in tears as the whole stadium at Goodison threw their support behind him and his Ukraine teammate Vitaly Mikolenko. The city team wore no war t-shirts with the Ukraine flag across the middle there and the Everton team, each of them draped in the Ukrainian flag as was Mikolenko there on the bench. And in the stands, the fans showed their support as well. So to the warm-up and a hug between Zinchenko and Mikolenko, the Goodison crowd clapped and cheered in support. Both Everton and City said they were doing everything to support their players as the crisis unfolds in their homeland. Manchester United and Watford players joined together before their game at Old Trafford with United manager Ralph Rangnick holding up that sign that said peace in six different languages. Matty Cash scored for Aston Villa today at Brighton and in his celebration sent a message of support to one of his Poland teammates, Tomasz Kenziora, who remains in Ukraine. Cash took his shirt off to display a written message to his friend who plays for Dynamo Kiev. It read, Tomasz Kenziora and family stay strong, bro, with a picture of a heart. He was booked by John Brooks for his gesture. Cash plays for Poland and his message comes on the day the country announced they will refuse to play their World Cup playoff matches against Russia next month. The winners of the game are due to play Sweden or Czech Republic for a place in the finals, but there is opposition there as well. The Polish FA have described their refusal to face Russia as the only correct decision and it was backed by Robert Lewandowski who says while this is not the fault of Russia's footballers, no one can simply pretend that nothing is happening. Sweden have followed Poland in announcing they would not play Russia in the World Cup playoff final, no matter where the venue. Sweden are due to face Czech Republic in the playoffs. Of both nations and Poland had previously called for the matches to be moved away from Moscow. That was the round of applause 30 minutes into Bradford's game with Mansfield to mark 30 years of Ukraine independence. The club's Ukrainian supporters group also came onto the pitch at half-time with a banner which read, Stand with Ukraine, big Ukrainian community in Bradford. In Germany, Schalke played for the first time with their sponsor Gazprom's logo removed from their shirts. The Russian state-owned energy supplier may also be removed as the UEFA partner soon with the governing body taking legal advice.